All right, good afternoon and welcome to John Box Watercolor. Today, we're gonna to be talking about painting figures. But before we get started, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a thumbs up and if you like what you see, consider subscribing. All right, so the first mistake that I tend to see people make when it comes to figures is how they sketch them. They'll have a scene with buildings and cars and they'll start to draw their figures and they'll almost create a cartoon-like looking person. They'll draw a face with a nose. They start putting eyes, a shirt. They've got sleeves on there. They're drawing arms. All these little things, and it's so unnecessary. If you look at my sketches, when I sketch a person, I'm drawing two things. I'm going to draw a head and a torso, and that is it. That is all I'm looking to draw. And if I'm doing groups of people, I'll draw their heads first. And then I'll just pull out the shoulders and just sketch them right like that. If I've got an individual walking right to left or left to right in a scene, it's the exact same thing. I'll draw a head, pull out the shoulders. But in this case, it would be the chest and the back if they're walking left to right. And I'm just putting two very just suggestions of legs. You got to remember when we're painting, we're just kind of putting ideas down with our sketch. We're creating a map for how we're going to work through our painting. I'm not actually looking to follow the lines of this person perfectly. I'm just looking to know where people are. I need to know their general size and scale compared to everything else in the scene. So we're going to do a little example here of how abstract you can be with your sketching and why you don't need a whole lot of details. If I just take this brush here and I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to draw, let's grab some white paint here. Let's just grab some pure water, drag that through, I don't know, mix it up, get a darker color, something cooler. It's a little warm over there. There. That does not look like anything at all, but let's start working on it a little bit. Okay, I'm going to grab a little of this burnt sienna, and I'm going to put a few faces on some of these blobs that we've drawn here. All figures are is it's a set of shoulders with a ball on top. That's it, right? If I put something darker down here for possibly, I don't know, these are some legs. And again, I'm letting my brush move quickly here. I'm not I'm not too concerned. You will find that when you paint less, your figures, your cars, everything you do is going to read so much better. And just like that, we've got a little group of people here. And I don't know, maybe there's a, uh, let's draw like a little umbrella or something on top. I don't know. Right? You've got this group of people. Okay, there's a, some type of an umbrella there. Let's pull that down. Let's do some chairs maybe. I'll just do one chair. And again, even when I'm doing chairs and tables, I'm trying to keep things very loose, very abstract, okay? And then, I don't know, let's throw a shadow on there. I'm telling you, it does not take much at all. All right. Draw a couple of things here. All right. And just like that, from a couple of blobs, we've got a decent little scene of people there. It looks like they're underneath a gazebo, I don't know, having lunch, chit-chatting. But you'll see that all of that started off with something like this. Just a couple of blobs. When we're painting people, if you break it down to its most simple form, I'm going to grab some white paint here. Okay. There is an oval shape with a warmer top. Okay. 
a darker lower half with two extended lines. And if you want to give them details, you can give them, I don't know, I'll give this guy a vest. Okay, something, something like that. But you'll see that I didn't need to draw anything to get this, get this character here. You do not need much at all. And so my advice to you when you're doing your figures, especially because this can be so intimidating when you first start painting, is try to sketch as little as you possibly can. I want to know, again, if I'm going to sketch more people with this individual, I want to know where the head is, right? Because when I'm sketching, I want the heads to be roughly the same height. Maybe this individual is a little bit shorter. Maybe this individual is a little bit taller, right? And if I want to make them thin, I'll just pull the shoulders out not very far. And if I want to make them a little wider, I'll pull them out a little bit wider. But that's all I'm going to have there. And so if I was going to continue painting this area, I don't know, let's just pick a color here. Again, this kind of warmer color. And for this other individual, let's do something cool. Let's do some lavender. Okay. And same process here. I'm always going to draw the torso first. I'm going to let the head bleed down into it like that. And then I'm going to throw some darker legs on here. Right. And I'm also, I'm, you see how quickly I'm moving my brush. I'm not always drawing a perfectly straight line. Um, and let's just grab some red. It really doesn't matter here. Okay, I'm just pulling down a couple of vertical suggestions, really. I don't even want to call them lines. If I want to give this guy a jacket, I'll darken the outside there. And then I'll throw another shadow down here. Right, and just like that, we've got another little group of three people chatting over here. And we did that all from a sketch of something like this. So again, the bottom line for this lesson here is you really want to avoid drawing facial features, noses, mouths, eyes, all of those things. Avoid drawing arms and hands unless it's in a very specific gesture. Like uh, if there's an individual waving across the street here. So let's say that this individual here was doing something and I was going to turn this into a person. We'll create this as a jacket. I'll pull the legs down here. Maybe this is somebody that's stopping a taxi, right? If, if the arm is crucial to what your subject, what your, this person here is doing, then yeah, you can throw a hand in here. That's, that's not a big deal. But you do not want to make it a habit for all of your people. Keep it simple. Keep it limited to just your head and a torso. That's it. This right here is the key to sketching, okay? It's a head and a torso, and that's it. Everything else can come afterwards. The only other little detail you might want to add is sometimes you can add a little dark top there for some hair. And that's really it, you know? All your other features can be painted. Remember, we're painters, not illustrators. And I don't have anything against, well, that picked up a big clump of paint there. I don't have anything against illustrators, but if we're working on these impressionistic sort of cityscapes and landscapes, you need to break objects down to their most basic form, right? We talk about and do the same thing when I'm painting a car. Uh, I'm running out of space here on my little sketch pad, but let's say I was going to do a car over here to the right, okay? And let's ignore this person. I'm not going to draw... When I draw a car, it's really two shapes. It's this kind of modified four-sided shape on top of a rectangle. And then you've got two headlights. That's it. Most shapes can be broken down very, very simply. So if I was going to do this, right, I'm going to pick whatever my main color for the car is. It's going to get darker as we move down. And I want to do a separate thing on, on painting vehicles, but just as a quick demonstration for how little you need, there are the tires. Most important thing on a car are the tires in the shadow underneath. That little line right there. 
But then, I mean, if you're looking here, there's almost nothing. I drew a rectangle and I've got this suggested windshield. I would try to kind of cut it out with other objects in the distance, but I've got this light windshield and a rectangle with two other little rectangles coming out of the bottom. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and draw, you know, brand emblems and different types of grills and lights and things. This is all you need for a very convincing car for what we're doing. All of our scenes when we're doing this sort of style, it's impressionism. We want to break objects down to their most simple form and just focus on that. So I hope this video helped. I'm going to be doing a number of these in the future, just breaking down different aspects of um, some of the things that are in my watercolors instead of just full tutorials. But if you stayed with me to the end, I appreciate it. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing and remember to just keep on painting. Thanks.